I hope our next guest likes dogs because we're big dog lovers around here. And we could all use better posture, that's for sure, especially around the office. Many of us are hunched over our keyboard, slumped in the chairs. That's Guilty. not good for your back over time yeah. or your shoulders or anything. Mm -hmm. That's why we brought back our friend, Glenn from Relax the Back Nashville. Okay, you say not all at office chairs are created equally. Not at all. Uh, one of the things that we always want to mention, uh, especially when someone is in the market for, say, an ergonomic chair, uh, that word ergonomic, simply put, means that it's meant to provide comfort and reduce uh, fatigue. So one of the main things that we want to focus on, uh, especially with clients or just, you know, people that may be watching today, mm -hmm. uh, maybe to even, you know, show them how to use their chair more properly, is you do want to be very mindful of the height adjustment of the chair. Oh. Th those of us that are height challenged like myself, you want to make sure that those feet are planted on the floor. Uh, we refer to that as creating the, the foundation because your foundation, you know, is what makes everything else stronger. Out? Sure can. Okay, great. Now, yeah, another right. thing you want to be really right. mindful Feet of. Feet on the floor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's almost ideal because what we're trying oh, to do. Oh, it's almost ideal. It's like you did it <laughs> on purpose. We want to create as close to a 90 degree angle of that thigh to the floor. Okay, For, create the 90 degree angle. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, I like now, that. the other thing you want to be very mindful of when you're looking uh, at uh, a chair is the contour and the composition of the seat. The more contour a seat has, the more weight distribution and pressure relief that it provides. Oh, yeah. When you say contour, what does that mean exactly? Kind of the actually, shape like of around it? Mm -hmm. Actually, the Laura, bottom. if you'll stand again for me, okay. that way we can see what I mean. You see how it has this really nice contouring yeah, yeah. shape. Yeah, like kind that, of goes up like mm -hmm. a little mound. Exactly. Now, the other thing about this particular chair, which is by a company called Lifeform, now this is one of the highest level chairs on the market. Now, this thing has every option I'm going to mention as far as features, but it's got more uh, and then some, as they say. Mm. Now, as far as the seat itself, another Thing. We're actually gonna here. Let me turn. We're gonna bring this out just a hair. Okay. Now perfect. Laura can sit there again, go, and that's actually gonna fit there. the, oh, the wow. leg length. So what did a you more. just do? You 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 could actually create more space here. <laughs> exactly. Basically, oh, wow. that's another feature that oh, you definitely okay. want to look for is being able to adjust that seat depth. Oh. Now Laura, if you want to sit again. Okay. Okay. Now you're going to notice that that fits the back of your oh, thigh a little bit. Very better. nice. Okay. Mm. Now, as far as an organ or an organic um, lumbar, uh, basically, oh, you've got that nice. where basically you can adjust that. So I can feel it going into mm -hmm. my lower back or exactly. not. Okay. And that is basically a crucial component of what is considered an ergonomic chair. Mm -hmm. Now, if you'll allow yourself to get a little more comfortable. Okay. Now, I'm also going to mention one of the most important things about an office Whoa. chair is being able to adjust those arms, okay. also trying to create as close to a 90 degree angle as possible. Now, I don't know if you felt what just happened, but your posture changed immediately. It absolutely did. I feel it in my shoulders because I'm more like this. Exactly. Now, wow. with that, what I always mention is we are bipedal. In other words, we stand upright or we sit upright. The problem is, is without utilizing the arms on an office chair, what can happen is that gravitational force is trying to press you to the ground. Oh. So by doing so, you're going to utilize the lumbar correctly. You're yeah. going to take that pull, the weight, if you will, out mm -hmm. of the equation that would affect the neck and shoulder area. Wow. This is the best posture I've had all day. <laughs> now, <laughs> really, to let you feel even more, oh, when oh, you slightly oh, recline, okay. you're actually changing the hip angle, which is basically taking that pressure away that would resonate down the spine off into the that lower, hip. Yep, exactly. Off the lower, yep, off the lower, yes, area. when you are looking for an office chair, what you want to be very mindful of is beyond everything else, it's how long you sit. This chair is designed for someone that sits constantly. Yes. Now, if you say sit, you know, only a few hours a day, you may do fine with say like a mesh seat. You just want to really, really put some thought into actually the, the components of the chair based on how long you sit in it. That's interesting. So mesh is for kind of short term sitters. Exactly. If you're up <laughs> okay. and down throughout the day, then mesh will be fine because no matter what, over time that mesh can start to feel firm, especially on that rear end. Mm -hmm. I hope Got our bo it. bosses are listening yes, to this. Yes. We could use this chair at our desk. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was so informational. How do I get I out of that. this? You can't. <laughs> Make sure to check them out online. Stores dot relax the back dot com is where you can go slash Nashville excuse me it's right there on your screen head over there head to the stores because Glenn and all his folks will help you learn the best chair for you mm.